Hey guys, this is my artist interview question post. I wanted to start um, kind of a tag video. I'm still learning about all the tagging and all that. Um, so everyone out there is tagged. I wanted to use it, not necessarily go to viral, but as an opportunity to get to know some of you guys, some of you other artists out there and creative people. Um, so I would love to hear your responses either in the comments or in your own videos. All right, the first question is, what does cre being creative mean to you? And I think that's kind of a, one that's different for everyone. I definitely think that for me, um, my creativity comes a lot from, I learned a lot of the graphic design techniques and brainstorming and some of the more um, technical and strategic forms of coming with ideas. And so for me, being creative is connecting um, different ideas that people might not put together or um, using things in a new way that people didn't think about. So that's that's what being creative means to me. Question number two. Can you describe the time when you first realized that creating was something you absolutely had to do? Um, for me, there wasn't really a specific time. I think I realized that I, was, I wanted to be an artist when I was young, like most artists do, and most children actually I think want to be artists. But through talking to my parents and my grandma, um, my dad was a music teacher, just talking to all these different people who were really close to me and influential in my life, they helped me see that art was something I was really good at, I was talented at it, and I should keep pursuing it. And that's, I guess that's kind of how uh, being an artist came about. All right, the third question is, what kind of creative patterns, routines, or rituals do you have? Um, that's something I'm actually really working on right now. When I was a student, it was really easy to work all day, every day, um, for some projects up to 16 hours a day for weeks at a time. Um, and after graduating, I don't do that anymore, which is definitely healthier and better for me. Um, but I'm really trying to establish some of those rituals and creative patterns. Um, right now, I work two and a half days a week at teaching people with disabilities. I teach art in a couple other classes. And I um, do about two days in the studio, and then like the other half day is just like getting stuff done. So, um, yeah, just still trying to develop those and really figure out what I need to do for me to be more creative and help it get going. All right, the fourth question is, what's your favorite thing you ever created? That's a really tough one. Um, right now, I think my favorite poster I've made was definitely my Malcolm X one um, with his face and the eyes just like staring at you. And it says, who taught you to hate being what God made you? Um, I think that just speaks to a lot of people on a lot of different levels. It's definitely um, one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I'll post a picture of it at the end or after this clip. Question number five, what are you trying to communicate with your art? For me, this is really important. As I mentioned earlier, I have a graphic design background. So the graphic designer in me is always brainstorming and conceptualizing and connecting the dots and the ideas behind the work to communicate something. My main, the main things I'm trying to communicate in most of my artwork are social justice issues. I've addressed um, African American issues, Native American issues, uh, LGBT community and their relationship with Christian, the Christian community. Currently I'm working on human trafficking and then also religion and people's interaction with religion. So there's a lot of ideas that vary behind my artwork. Ooh, okay, when I found these questions I was really excited to answer this one. Uh, number six is, which creative medium would you love to pursue but haven't yet? And this one, I love all creative mediums. I would really, really, really love to try a tattoo art. I think it would be um, just a rush and just so humbling to have other people trusting you that much. I've never done it. I've um, had some ink drawings or like tattoo style, but never any actual real tattoo. Sorry, my phone just went off. I turned it off. Um, yeah, I think tattooing. Question number seven, what's the best advice you've ever had about how to be more creative? 
This one is a great question. Uh, first of all, before I answer, I really want to know what you guys all have to say. I want to know what makes you guys creative and what advice you would give me and other artists out there. But my answer, the best piece of advice about how to be more creative. I think uh, one of my favorite bands, uh, Showbread, their lead singer said that you should never worry about what other people think and um, an audience and don't make artwork to an audience or for an audience, but create what is in your heart and what you know is true. Those aren't his exact words, I'm paraphrasing. But um, I think that idea that you need to be the source of your creative creativity and your art, I think that's so important. I think that when you start uh, making art for other people, it goes downhill and it's not as pure and what it should be. So I think that's definitely uh, the best piece of advice I've ever been given. So. Yeah, as I said before, I would love to hear your guys' answers to these questions. If you guys find any other artist interviews, um, I would love to see those questions as well, and maybe I'll answer some or ask them below in the comments. Um, please subscribe and comment and respond back through a video post. I would love to know what you guys have to say, and I would love to meet more artists out there. So thank you. Have a good one.